Hi guys, welcome to the new 3D Quick Tip video. Today I will show you how to do math operations in the channel box and how to randomize your transform values. First of all, just a little thing that you can actually use calculator inside of Maya and that's by left clicking the mail over here and switching it to Python and then just type 50 times 10 equals 500. It's super useful. I use it all the time. Now let's go to the channel editor now. I will zoom in a bit so you see what's actually happening there. And I will also move our object and rotate it a bit. Let's say I want to add 28 degrees to my Y rotation. So what you can do is go there and calculate in your head 3 plus 28 is 31 but you lost the decimal number, so you have to go back. So you have to select three and put the 31 in there. It's a bit annoying. What you can do is just click the value and type in plus equals 28 and voila, you are done. You can actually perform mathematical operation inside of these boxes and it's either minus equals and a value or plus equals and a value or multiply equals and a value or of course divide and equals and a value so that's plus minus multiply and divide operators equals and your number the other operation you can use is percentage let me just put in a bit random scale and I want these numbers to be like 5% bigger so what I can do is type in plus equals 5 and percent and all of these numbers will be now 5% bigger I can do it for scale I can do it for translation for rotation it doesn't work because it's calculating the value in radians instead of degrees. If I add 50% to the rotation, it's changing just the decimal number. So that's why I think it's calculating radians instead of degrees. So the percentage used just with the translation and scale. Let me reset these numbers. And I will show you one nice thing about the percentage and the translation. Let me duplicate the object a few times and I will keep like irregular gaps in between. And right now, if I add 25% to the translate Z, so it will keep the relative distance between the objects while making the distance 25% bigger. That's really nice use case of the percentage. So these were mathematical operations. Then what we can use in the channel box is called dash scripting. I think it works just on Windows and Mac because I tried it on my workstation at DNEC. It didn't work. So let me know in the comments below if it works on your Linux Maya. It's basically putting simple expressions into the channel box. You have to select the channel first and then hold Alt and right click and this little line will appear. There are four commands for translation, modeling, scene assembly, etc. And three or four commands for tweaking animation curves, but we won't cover those. And you can write your own expressions in Python and put them in here, but that's too complicated for our video. So I will show you just those four built in Maya. And the first one is a linear distribution. So just type in L for linear parentheses and maximum value, let's say 52. And it will be distributed from zero with regular spacing up to minus 52. So that's linear. The next expression is a linear again, so select the channel, hold Alt, right click, and type in L parentheses, and I can put a minimum value, minus 10, and a maximum value, minus 30, 
it will distribute the object in the same manner from minus 10 to minus 30 in equal spacing. So that's linear. Then we have another dash command. Let's use a rotation and that's random. Just type R parentheses and put the maximum value, let's say 60 degrees. And it will input a rotation, random rotation between zero and 60 degrees. Or I can do the same thing I did before to put my minimum and maximum like five degrees and 10 degrees. And it will do a random rotation between five and 10 degrees. Very useful. So that's dash expressions. Select the channel, Alt, right click and type in R parentheses for random or L parentheses for linear distribution. And that's it for today, guys. I wanted to show you simple math operations you can type in to your channel box and how to use a dash for randomization. And that's it, guys, for today's video. I just quickly wanted to show you how to perform math operations in the channel box and how to use a simple dash script for randomize these values. In the next video, I will show you a way more robust tool in the Maya bonus tools for the channel box values randomization. So definitely subscribe to the channel and watch my social media so you won't miss the next video about randomization. Thanks a lot. See you next time.